What is going on anglers? Texas Rigged here. Have you ever wondered how your favorite flies are made? Let's take a look at the Orvis fly tying manual and check it out. All right guys, we're gonna go step by step. We're gonna learn how Orvis makes their woolly buggers. This is directly out of their fly tying manual. Really simple woolly bugger, but once you learn how to do it, you can just make it your own. So let's get started. First, you're gonna have to gather your materials. You're gonna need a streamer hook of any size, some sort of weight, you can use wire, a bead head, even a cone head. You're gonna need thread of any color, a tip of a feather, chenille any color of your choice, and hackle any color of your choice. Once your hook is in the vise, wrap the shank of the hook with the wire. It should only cover the midsection of the hook. Next, start adding some thread. Add a little bit of thread before and after the wire so it stays in place. Now select the feather that you'd like to use. The piece that you choose should be about twice the length of the hook. It will be trimmed. Now position it above your hook and adjust it to choose the length of the tail. Secure the feather with a small wrap of thread, wet the butt end, lift it, and trim it. Now secure the hackle on top of the marabou. Next, choose the chenille of your choice. This will be the main body of your woolly bugger. Secure that on top of your hackle with a small wrap of thread. Now wrap the chenille towards the eye of the hook and secure it with a small wrap of thread. Now wrap your hackle over the chenille towards the eye of the hook. Secure it with a small wrap of thread, lift it, and trim. Cover the raw ends of all the trimmings with thread to secure them. Add a couple dabs of head cement for extra insurance. Now you can trim the tail if need be, and that is a basic bully bugger. 